asked, have you ever worked with databases where the clustering key had to be different than the primary key? Yes, so often in large mature systems, someone will, there, uh, often in large mature systems, I hit situations where a table didn't have a clustered index, where it had a primary key, but the primary key was created as non-clustered. And so what we'll often do is go create a clustered index on the appropriate column, but that isn't necessarily what the primary key is. At that point, the primary key is just like any other index. Andrew continues by saying, have you seen any performance gains with this separation? Come zoom back and ask, what's the problem that you're trying to solve? You hear me ask this all the time on the session. Instead of saying, hey, I got these tools over here, tell me about a time where they'll be useful, don't do that. Because generally speaking, I can't afford to take the time to teach you about every single tool out there. Bring me your problem, and then let's solve it together in the fastest, most efficient way. Generally, designing new tables with the clustering key and the primary key being different is a pretty bad idea. And if you have to ask when it would be a good idea, take your hand back off that tool. It's not a good fit for you.